Good morning. I'm David Attenborough, and this is the southwestern tip of Africa, a confluence of the mighty Atlantic and Indian Oceans, is home to the Western Cape, a land unique in its biological and cultural diversity. This is Cape Town, the beating heart of the Western Cape, and the second most populous city in South Africa. Here, the splendor of the Cape Floristic region, a World Heritage Site, unfolds in all its glory, housing nearly 7,000 species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. Yet, it isn't just the biodiversity that is rich. Its vineyards, cuisine and vibrant cultures blend into an intoxicating mix that adds to the Cape's unique allure. And in recent times, the voices advocating for Cape independence have been growing louder seeking to carve out a separate identity for this extraordinary region. To understand this, one needs to look at the Western Cape's history, which is distinct from the rest of South Africa. Its colonization by the Dutch, the influences of the French and British, its multiracial identity. All these factors have contributed to a separate socio-cultural economic fabric. The proponents argue that independence would allow the Cape to more effectively manage its resources, protect its unique biodiversity, and chart its own economic destiny. They believe that like the finbos, the local plant species that adapted over millennia to this unique corner of the earth, so too can the Western Cape, evolving and adapting to shape its own future, distinct and independent. But the road to independence is not without its hurdles, steeped in complexities of politics, economics and law. Yet for many here, it's about more than just politics. It's about preserving their distinct heritage, their unique ecosystem and their way of life. In the end, the call for Cape independence echoes nature's timeless theme, adaptation, evolution, survival. Whether it is a plant species fighting for survival amidst these rugged landscapes or a cultural identity amidst the shifting sands of politics, the story of life goes on. And so, as the sun sets on the beautiful Western Cape, one cannot help but ponder the path it will take in its quest for survival and identity in the grand tapestry of Africa's evolving narrative. Only time will tell if the Western Cape will bloom as an independent entity, like the endemic Finbos, standing proudly against the Atlantic winds, showcasing its resilience, its uniqueness, and its undying spirit.